Paul, you were a couple did you for the life? Yeah, uh, yeah. I suppose welcome back. And what brought you back, Stephen? Yeah, uh, I think uh, a number of reasons really, and uh, I've only made the decision late last night. And um, so Gary Kelleher obviously had a clear vision for what he wanted the club going forward, and um, you know I was excited by that, you know by by his plans, um, you know, and, and certainly uh, in that means in, in the time my own circumstance, personal circumstances changed as well. Uh, Family circumstances, so that that changed uh, part of my, my decision. But mainly, I'm enthused by the fact that um, I'm coming here. It's a, it's a club with a great tradition. Um, obviously, I started off here, um, and um, my mother's from Kyo Square across the road, where it was, and, and she used to come here, and um, so. Yeah, no, I'm looking looking forward to it's a team needs a lot of work. You know, it's it's we're at the wrong end of the table, near the bot you know, near the bottom. It won't be easy. Uh, that can change quickly though, uh with uh with some positive results. So that's has to be the ambition to try and do that. Um so looking forward to it. And just uh, since you left, there's been an influx of uh, a lot of new managers and stuff like that. It seems to be like a really great select. How much are you looking forward to coming up against as well as former foes and new ones and people you worked with as well? Yeah, the, I know. It is uh, amazing, really. But uh, the week that's in it, you know, of course, um, really, you know, with Derry and Damien Shelburne and, of course, Alan with Bohemian. So, um, all very good, all exceptional coaches. And there is a, a new, you know, there is a lot of young, really talented coaches in the league and who are, yeah. Uh, have a high emphasis on uh, te technical ability and really um, I'm impressed, really impressed with the, the level of coaching in the league at the moment. Very, you know, very uh, progressive in their style and I think a lot of the coaches will go on and do very well in their career. That's awesome, mate. Thanks, man. Best of luck. Cheers, Paul. Anyone else for the live section? So, just one for the live. What was it like earlier being with the players and just being able to train at this? Yeah, it was a bit surreal because like I've, I've never. I've only been out of work for a couple of months in twenty five years, so I've never not not really been on the grass. You know what I mean. So I've always, although with the international, you're not on a, a lot. You're not on enough in the, in the international team. But so I've always, um, you know, and I think uh, maybe I struggle with that when I'm not. You know, when I'm not. You know, I need to. I need to work, and that's just the way I'm built. So you know, I'm 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 happier doing that, and uh, I want to want to get back working um, and decide to do that. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Um, did you have any Did you have any other opportunities to come to Pat since your managerial career when you left for Longford? Uh, well, yes, yes, I have had a few, but um, listen. Um, it's difficult to predict life, you know. It's difficult to predict life, and uh, obviously uh, the opportunities weren't right at the time for whatever reason, and um, so that's that's the way it is now. And uh, I've decided to. Uh, I know there's a lot of work to do. I know it's. I it won't be straightforward. There's a perception that some paths were stronger, like. Um, uh, I think John and Daly is a very good young manager who I think will have a fine career. Um, you know, I don't know him that well, but I, I don't know him well at all, but I've met him a couple of times. And, uh, um, you know, that's that's the nature of this business. And I think um, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I do think there's a, there's a, people feel that there's a perception out there that the team last year was stronger than it is this year. Uh, but whether that's true or not, it's difficult to say until players settle in because the high turnover of players, and uh, until players settle in and and uh, give an opportunity to give their best in the, in the team that's doing well, and uh, then only a proper assessment can be made at that juncture. What made this the right time to take the job? Uh, there's a few different reasons, really. I think uh, just it, it is a it is. Uh, Gareth, 
his ambition, he want, you know, and, and also the, all the people at the club, some great people at, at all levels of the club here that, you know, that I look forward to working with. Um, um, but certainly, uh, yeah, there's some, some personal circumstances in family life as well, which 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 uh, impacted somewhat on my wife's family. So um, the decision to, to stay in Ireland now and, uh, and, and go with that. Stephen, you mentioned Stephen, you mentioned earlier. I think in the club video, you know, talking about almost being a partner with Gareth in the sense for like the vision for the club in the next five years. Like, what is that vision? You know, what, what, where do you see this project in five, five and a half years time in the in the audio world? Yeah, like uh, I'm not naive. Uh, I, like, I understand. I've seen some some. Uh, Plans for stadiums, and you know, over the years, in ver at various times, and I've been shown a lot, of, a lot of plans. Um, but I think Gary the series that he wants to do it. You know, want, want, wants to, you know, have that here, and um, obviously the European competition in a few weeks is another incentive. Like you know, because we aren't seeded. Uh, that's in 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 that second round, but we're already in the second round. So, um, you know, it is an opportunity, and. Um, the uh, yeah, I mean, already he's been brought the team to America this year, and he's talking about longer stints in January and, and trying to impact that that market and so forth. And um, you know, so we'll we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see. Like it's um, there's a lot of progressive clubs, obviously a lot of different owners than when I I started when in the league when a lot of committees ran ran certain clubs and so forth. Obviously. There's a lot of very uh, owners that are committed at, at a lot of clubs right throughout the league now. So it is a different league in that regard. And uh, so you know, it's difficult to be successful. You know, obviously, uh, a lot of some some very good teams at the moment and um, who are well resourced. So um, so, so, so that, that's, that's it. Stephen, you were our manager from April 2020 to November 2023. And it's a job, that, the biggest job in Irish football. This isn't as big, you know. It's no one would, would, would accept the Pats are as big as Ireland. So, how have you got your head around that? That you're not where you were, you're here. Yeah, that's that's. Um, <laughs> I think. Uh, uh, you know, I think um, that's on the training ground. Just to go, got to try and improve the team, make it make it better. It isn't. Uh, the international team for any manager uh, when you when you leave. I said I said at the time everything is a step down because it's the greatest honour to manage our country, and I've been privileged to do so. Um, so I think, uh, but you know, I started, you know, at Longford Town. Uh, you know, I started so, I know I, I know uh, with, with nothing. You know, so it, it's not. Um, I, you know, I always feel uh, it's an opportunity here now to come and, and build and have a try and build a successful team over time. Because you will need time now because obviously some of the teams at the top end of the league have been very successful for a period and they have settled teams and consistent structures and so forth. And, and, and um, so there's been a lot, of a lot of turnover here in the last year. So it'll take, you know, a bit of planning now going forward. One more for me. Um, leaving aside some press criticism, uh, but Brian Kerr, for example, Virgin TV, he, he was quite strident at times about your Irish management and how you, how he, you know, he maybe he, he felt that maybe things could have been done a bit differently, maybe done a bit better. I know he said this week he'd be a very good fit for here, and he said his comments were made on the basis that he just wanted the team to be successful. Brian is very much a presence around here, former manager, and he goes to all the games. You know, how are you and he going to get on? Have you had a little conversation? And do you think that it'll be it'll be fine between you and him? Um, well, you're you're pretty close to him. You should know more than me. You're his personal <laughs> press officer. <laughs> yeah, for the last four years. Well, you're your 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 no, no, but you're well, part of his his, his press team. Well, I'm not, but, not, I would have covered the press know, teams with a title when Brian was manager. Yeah. No, but uh, you know. So listen, that's that's. Um, you know. Uh, Listen, he's he's he he goes to the games and and you know that's the, of course that's a big part of his life and, and so forth. But um, no, I, I don't I don't think we'd be 
you know, I don't think we'll be meeting for cups of tea and coffee, you know? No. Yeah, but if you have a match night, you'll, you'll be fine. If you bump into him out that, you'll be fine. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, I don't know if fine is the word, but certainly, uh, um, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen Brian in a long time, so you know, you know, I haven't seen. Obviously, we had a very good relation for a long period, but um, you know, that's 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 the way life is. You don't think he was? You think he was a little unfair? Please answer that question, Philip. So we move on, please. If that's yeah. all right. Yeah, go ahead. I want to ask you. You've um, you noticed a big increase in attendance since you come back. A lot of people are wondering: Is it since uh, since COVID or whatever? But in a roundabout way, could it? I know you had a brilliant record as Irish manager, but overall the way you tried to get the players to play, do you think maybe the public wanted to see Irish football again? Because of, of the style you, you tried to implement? Uh, I don't know if that was the reason, but I do think uh, the connection of me taking over the international team did ignite massive interest in the league in Ireland. And people, there was a synergy and record crowds, of course, in that period. And people believed in the style of play that we introduced and and we had a lot of very exciting matches but we didn't win enough of them and I think I'm not, I, I never complained about not having my contract renewed that's part of life I think uh, obviously at three years we'd um, um, a, lot, a lot of really good performances in that time and, and some defeats and it was a transition period for Ireland and um, I think uh, you know, we, we gave 21 players their competitive debut in that time, and it's I think it's a really good job now. It's a different job than I inherited, you know, where a lot of players were at the other end of their career, and some players retired um, in that period. And I think uh, I've spoken before about, it, you know, the, the lack of players in, in, in between age groups that were progressed, but I, I don't want to go over that again. I think uh, the... the uh, yeah, no, I think I think it's a really good job now uh, for someone because I know, like one stage, I probably had a high number of players in League One and the Championship and just shames in the Premier League, uh, and then that was playing, and then all of a sudden last year you had like over the last year nobody in League One and Championship and um, Bar James at the time and 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 the Championship. And then a lot of players, high number of players in the Premier League, unfortunately some of the tip players have been relegated this year, which is disappointing, obviously with Luton, Burnley and Sheffield United going down. But, um, because I mean the domestic league, that, that a lot of people think it was after Covid, but I was saying, could it be indirectly the style of football you play? Uh, oh, oh, I don't know, like, yeah. but I, don't, I wouldn't like to claim credit for that, but I think... Uh, I think it wouldn't be right to do that, but I think uh, I think there was a massive connection with me taking the job and with and right. you know at that period and people were enthused by it and I still have people who uh, walked out, walked through Dublin and and uh, you know or anywhere really and and um, they understood what we tried to do. We understand that understood that uh, the two groups we got were tough and we weren't good enough. In the end, to qualify, and um, it was a you know that was a transitional period in in Irish football history. You, you say it's a really good job now, so you sorry. You say it's a really good job now, so are you surprised the six months on, it still hasn't been filled? Uh, I, I don't really. I, I've actually not. I'm not. I don't. Not, like I'm not in touch with anyone in relation to the process, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any idea what what's gone on or why. Or I, I actually don't know. Uh, what I've no no idea. Um, so only what I read and you know and you know so it's it's a really good job for for someone now it's a different job and you've got a lot of really talented goal you've goalkeepers center center backs um, and attacking players which is really um, when I when I took over and Dave McGoldrick retires a lot of the players attacking players in League One and League Two now from that era but now you've got Chidozi and um, you know Evan and Adam Haida and Mikey Johnson you know and these are new batch of players that have come through in attacking areas and, and other players of course Michael Obafemi shone brightly for a period and, and he's had his injuries and again but players players of that ilk have come through and uh, they look uh, 
there's good options, you would feel. Other other players as well, good options for, for the new manager, uh, uh, I feel. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that's, uh, that's the way I feel. Just, I'll I'll ask one follow, please, yeah. just one follow-up question on, because Philip did raise the issue of Brian, and Brian obviously said this week that he feels your relationship has changed because of your feelings about his TV punditry. Mm. Is Dan, we're not talking about Brian Kerr anymore or Stephen, it's about Stephen's job as the past manager. So. No, but he's answered the questions, so he's happy to talk about his role with St. Pat's. We're, we've spoken about the Brian Kerr issue, so we're going to move on from it, please. <coughs> Stephen, how long did it take you to accept the job? Uh, I only really made a decision last night, really. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a big decision. Uh, you know, like every decision is when you take a job, you wrestle with it. And uh, so I felt, I knew, I knew it would be a difficult job to take on. And... Uh, but, but I'm excited because because we're you know you're not taking on a team that's um, challenging for the title at the moment and a lot of you know playing playing some good teams Andrew. over the next couple of weeks so we have to we have to nurture this team make it better and and help it grow you know and and, and certainly try and get up the table that that's so I knew it'd be a difficult job. Is your sorry John? Is your target in the five years to win a league title? I think uh, I'm not going to just. I, I I want to be successful anyway. You know that's why I'm here. You know I'm not here to. You know we definitely want to be successful. That's that's without a, without a doubt. That's 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 our ambition. You know. Success will be bringing the league title back to Chicago. Well, it depends. It could be European success. You know. So we'll we'll see on that. But yeah, you know you definitely uh, you want to be challenging for trophies and you want to be doing well in Europe and all all of that. But but other clubs have those ambitions as well. So. And uh, that's um, it's it's not easy, and you know I think uh, there's been a lot of points dropped in the league this year, um, so that's a, that's a, that's a signs a lot of good teams. And Stephen, can I ask with the with the length of the con with that length of contract on the table at the start? I mean, was it always at the know, start of what? At the start of like your discussions with the club, was it always five and a half years? Was that sort of the the start point well, I, I, I don't think that was really uh, that, that was not really the the big thing like I'm not really hung up on that and you know that's I'm not hung up on length of time and so forth because you know it's not something that I got fixated on really um, but that was offered and um, so it's good to have that. I think it sends a, a, you know, you can, you can, you can build gradually in, you know, in the way that you need to, uh, with with that in mind. Have you changed as a manager in the last five and a half years? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to be honest, it's difficult to assess yourself, you know, sometimes and things like that. So, um, I've learned a lot. I've learned a huge amount. You know, it's a huge learn. I've learned, you know, obviously. Um, in the group, Ronald Koeman, Didier Deschamps, but you know, in this group and certainly in all the groups, great, great Portugal teams, Serbian teams, uh, Belgium, all the top teams we played. We spoke about France and Holland. So you learn a, an awful lot in international football. It's it's the, you know the highest level you can be involved in, and uh, of course you learn a lot. And uh, the game itself is constantly evolving anyway, the club game, and that's that's. Um, so that's, you know, longevity is difficult for managers. And I think uh, you have to evolve yourself uh, consistently. You have to continue to learn. You have to have a culture of learning which, uh, within your coaching team and also with uh, the players themselves. They always, they always have a, a desire for self-improvement. And, to, uh, you know, how can you improve? How can you get better? What do we need to do collectively, individually? Uh, I think you can really do an international team because players are gone and they're working with their clubs and there's the different requirements but with a club team you can these are things that can be specific to what you can you know you can definitely improve uh, the framework of the team and, and players individually which is what you have to try and do Last one John yeah. sorry John yeah, like during those days or maybe a week since Gareth first approached you you were wrestling with this as you say was there any time where you 
had resigned himself to not taking it? Uh, resign himself to not taking it. Bob and Moyen yeah. not to take it, given those factors. Yeah, no, yeah, I mean, it's, um, you always have to have to consider these things uh, and then, you know, uh, I, th I think, uh, I think he wants to improve all aspects of the club in many different ways and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to working with everyone here and uh, and to try and try and bring success to St. Pat's, that's the ambition. Um, but obviously a lot of good clubs, a lot of good teams at the moment, so nothing, nothing will be easily given, You'll have to, we'll have to earn it and we'll have to, uh, you know, I love creating uh, attacking, attacking teams who, you know, can really excite the public. That's, uh, you know, that's what I built my career on, and um, you know, and that can be even bigger than winning individual trophies sometimes. And I think uh, so. It's it's interesting to see how it goes. Uh, we have. Uh, I I'm still learning about these players that they're. Uh, you know, there have been a number of players in the squad that haven't featured this year so um, at all. Um, so there has been a few, so I'm, I still have to learn the, about the full extent of the squad. Just finally, just on the operational side, any, you bringing in any staff? Or? Uh, I haven't appointed an assistant yet, so um, I only, as I said, I only decided to take the job last night. And um, uh, so... I, you know, so I'll have to I have to have a look at that now. And Sean O'Connor is, uh, you know, staying on with the club and and uh, as as first team coach and Pat Jennings, mm. who of course played played for me at Derry, who I know well. So uh, we look forward to that. Thanks. Last one from David. David, John, from the last yeah. Area, so. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, lads. Okay. Thanks.